What's going on? Welcome to the episode of Chicago Bull Central. And um, this is Petty Roosevelt checking the fuck in. Okay, so I, I, I really hesitated and thought about if I really wanted to do this video. If I really, really wanted to do this video. And then I had to realize Hayes didn't want to do this video. Hayes didn't want to do this video. Petty Roosevelt wanted to do this video, though. So we're going to get into, there's this new thing, um, the stock report from this idiot, Tim Bomb Temps, who's starting to eat his own words. We're about to get into I'm just going to play a little bit of it real quick. Instead, Chicago has won seven games in a row, has the best record in the Eastern Conference, and DeMar DeRozan continues to make a legitimate MVP case. It's been an unbelievable season for him and an unbelievable season for the Bulls, who find themselves, again, sitting atop the East, thanks in large part to the way DeMar has completely galvanized them offensively. He has fit as seamlessly as anyone could have hoped for, essentially running their offense, particularly down the stretch in late and close situations. His mid-range shooting has been awesome. So first, talking about DeMar DeRozan, the same over 30 sub all-star player that you talked about before, and you talked about how he was going to fit. Why did the Bulls give him a lot of money? X, Y, Z. Listen, we all... It, it's it, it, only an idiot would not be able to realize that DeMar DeRozan was going to be able to contribute, right? Nobody's saying that that him to play this level, him playing an MVP level. Okay, I'll give you that. I will give you that. But the thing is, is that for it's the vitriol in which it came out against, and that I think is why people respond the way they do to these national media idiots. Is because it's not just about saying coming out and saying, "Hey, well, there there may be some potential." Issues with with fit here, maybe some potential on how Demar is going to get his buckets. He's so ball dominant. Zach's ball dominant. How are they going to figure this out? That is a legitimate critique and an analyst, right? That is an analytical mind on the boom. You come out and you talk about somebody being thirty and a sub all star and it being the worst deal in the world. Man, shut the hell up, right? You still look stupid. I'm glad you're sitting here on your little new show. This is why. Content creators like us, content, content, and I don't even put myself in the echelon of these people, but content creators like Pat the Designer, content creators like Jamal over on Bull Central, content creators like Aiden over at the Bull Show, content creators like Locked on Bulls. That's why these people are important to the culture and to, to us as a society is because, well, as Bulls fans, as a fandom, because we take an objective look and even when we point out critiques or when we point out possible holes or whatever else, we, we, we analyze it in a, in a true way, not this over the top coming out so hard and vitriolic so you can seem like you're a top because you thought the Bulls were going to lose. And then let me play another clip. Their coach and health and safety protocols with some of their players still out. Alex Caruso and Lonzo Ball missed time. It's just really an impressive stretch from this Bulls team, which continues to really surprise me and certainly most people who thought they weren't going to be quite this good coming into the season, even if you had high feelings about the or high hopes for the Bulls. Again. Eat your goddamn crow because it's not just about, yes, the most optimi optimistic Bulls fans, yes. If we're being honest, and even in me and my own, well, in Hayes' own vid video, uh, you know, before the season, his prediction video before the season, sat there and said, well, you know what? The Bulls can definitely be a four seed. We can see if they can get higher but higher than that. But the fact that you sit there and said they're going to be fighting for a play-in, fighting for a play-in, and then to say, to, to talk about it now like, Oh, well, I don't know who would have thought that they would have been top of the East and all of that, but, you know, they're playing well. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. And I don't even usually release this type of videos. I tried, again, P Hayes doesn't try to release these type of videos because Hayes is a very much a, a person who tries to be objective, right, and tries to look at things from all sides and everything like that. But Petty Roosevelt, me, when you see the hat backwards, that means Petty Roosevelt is in the building. And Tom, Tim Bomb Temps, Today, you are getting the Stupid Idiot Award, and I'm glad that you had to eat some crow on your on your goddamn show. That's it. That's it. Petty Roosevelt out. You guys know Hayes will tell you guys where you can find the show and all that. That's not my job. I'm here to cyber bully. That's what I'm here to do. I'm out this bitch. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Media.